I'm extremely nervous that Riley and Shauna are gonna surprise me with some raunchy stuff at this bachelorette party. Yeah, no, I think she has a right to be worried. You have to remember, her sister might be 22, but she looks like this. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to be in a room with her with a bunch of giant paraphernalia. Like, I I'm gonna half expect Hanson versus Predator to kick down the door. I mean, you guys have seen the stuff in those stores. There's some giant freaking p in there. I'm talking real big and you want to put this person in a room with all that? Jesus Christ, that was quite the voice crack. Okay, but the point is, I understand how she feels. What's crack a everybody? It's your boy Thundros coming at you with that extra thick face cam and uh, ears big enough to hear China. <gasps> but today I'm coming at you with the question, how is TLC still getting away with the Shauna Ray show? Just to be clear, I have no problem with the girl herself, but the plot lines TLC throws at us with what looks like an eight year old should be investigated by Chris Hansen. I'm not saying the producers look at bad things on their computers. I'm just saying, somebody please. Check the producer's computers. Before we begin the roast session though, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. As a lot of you know, I'm aiming for 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and I would love to hit that goal. But kick back, relax, and enjoy, and let's get to making fun of this stuff. I do not want it to be gross. I don't want it to be raunchy. Listen, I don't like victim blaming, but maybe don't have your bachelorette party on a reality show. Seriously, Big Ed should probably be in actual jail, but they keep giving him shows because he brings in ratings. What do you think they're gonna do with you? I'm just saying, I feel like there's a little logic missing here. Why don't we grab a pack of each confetti, so that way she has to pick it out of her butt crack? Look, I know she wants to be seen more as an adult, but I, I just feel like there are better ways. Like, has she even given addiction a try? Okay, but Shorty here deserves a lot more respect. Like, TLC, bro, if these plot lines were any more risque, they'd be a Blanche-heavy episode of Golden Girls. She absolutely deserves to be treated like an adult, and definitely as a woman, but uh, you could just show her doing normal things. TLC, you've got a short girl here. I guarantee somebody's gonna tune in. You want two bags of a little confetti? Sure, that's more annoying. Hello. Can I see some ID? Woman, look, I'm sure it's very frustrating to constantly be ID'd at places, but you should just be thankful the guy didn't straight up call Child Protective Services, because that's what I would have done. Like, you see an eight-year-old walking around one of these shops, you don't ask questions, you call cops. Like, that is a child that's probably not in a healthy home. I'm just saying, maybe you should thank the guy for giving you a chance. Do I need to take it out for you? Or do you, like, do you need to scan it? No. <laughs> And then, mine's on my accessory post. Gotcha, Thanks. gotcha. Look, Robbie from Victorious over here has a right to feel sus. I mean, fake IDs are a thing. He's like, okay, look, I, I understand. Like, homie, I think you're well within your rights to ask for two-step verification. Bro, I'm just sitting here complaining about the vetting process of a shop. Like, I actually give a damn. <laughs> my first thought was, um, is that a kid? I was a little shocked at first, but, um, you know, I was, surprised to say the least once I found out that she was an, an adult. First off, I just love this man's hair. I I'm sorry, I think you're wasting your life in that shop. You need to become a model or something, dude. Like, please, sign up for a Purell commercial or something. Like, you that is a glorious mane. Okay, but back to the matter at hand. Let's face it, if it weren't for all the cameras, you'd be kicking her out of the store right now. And I'm willing to bet everyone would be on his side. I mean, if it weren't for the television show, would you believe her? Like, I would be way too scared of catching a case. When people want to verify my age, that pisses me off because most of the time it's not for the business. It's not for myself and my safety. It's for your nosiness. Yeah, how dare people make sure the girl that looks like an eight-year-old is okay standing around in a ding-dong store. Look, I'm sure it's frustrating, but she's got to understand that most vertically challenged people don't sound like they just came out of nap time. Okay, I know I'm going to go to hell for this one, but her going, it pisses me off, breathes the same energy as a basket of kittens. Like, I'm sorry, it, it was just too adorable. Like, if she swears, we're going to have to send her to her room. I'm not looking at you and looking at what sex toys you're buying and making sure I'm checking your ID. Mind your damn business. Wow, Shauna Ray just turned into Shauna Karen. Like, girl, I, I know, it's annoying, but dude, you don't have to put this employee on blast. He was just trying to do his job. Aren't you like 22? I, I feel like you should just be used to it at this point. He's just like, how dare that employee do his job and make sure that I'm safe. Like, how dare he? How did Shauna Ray become the antagonist of the story? Like, are we supposed to be able to root for this girl? You want a penis pinata? I thought about it, but I don't think she would actually play with a pinata. 
I'm not going for playing with. I'm going to make her uncomfortable. I feel like the dude asking for her ID was her villain origin story, and now she's trying to ruin her sister's party out of displaced anger. Like, woman, you already have an entire television show named after you. I think you can let your sister just have her party. I will say that it's actually pretty impressive that someone so small can have such a large ego. I mean, you can say that growth didn't get stunted for sure. Would it make her uncomfortable? Yes. Okay, let me grab it. How hard is this? <laughs> is that a pun? Hey, Shauna Ray, you want to try that line again? We need it to look a little less staged than Shrek the Musical. Also, w what was up with that laugh? <laughs> I love that she wants to look like an adult, so to do that, she acts like a 10 year old. Like we get a girl, you think dicks are hilarious, but have you ever tried not acting like a child? Tara is definitely the most different between the three of us. Bruh. Yeah, uh, excuse me if I don't believe that. The raunchy envelope publicly. Gosh. Like, I don't know. The like, raunchiness. Yes, in like public or like with our family, like our parents. It's like she has something to prove. Oh really? I, I can't think of a single reason she might feel like she comes up a bit uh, short. Okay, but we've talked about this. There are better ways to come off as an adult. Have you tried severe depression? Ooh, or just have a really bad back. That's also a great prominent feature of growing up. Like, she is an adult and she is able to talk about this stuff. You know, I actually do feel a bit bad for her because, I mean, let's face it, she probably doesn't have a lot of uh, experiences and the few people that are actually into her don't belong around society. I'm not saying it's not already difficult to date, but compare yourself to her and she's playing on expert mode. Like, any experience you've probably ever had is peaceful mode compared to what this girl goes through. I hope. Tara's reaction will be good. It depends on the mood Tara's in, of course, though. If Tara's not in a good mood when we give her the gifts, she's just gonna throw them back at us. That's true. Do you think at any point they were like, hmm, maybe we should make this bachelorette party about our sister? I said it before, Shauna, Ray, woman, you have your own television show. I think you can let your sister have just this one. I guarantee you are still the main attraction to this family. You know, come to think of it, growing up, Shauna probably got all the attention from her parents. I mean, she still had these issues as a kid, and she was probably even shorter growing up. Imagine asking the two-foot-tall girl out to prom. Anyways, I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. Uh, I, I still feel like this TV show should not exist. Like, once again, uh, I, I have no problem with the girl, but TLC's got something here that I, I just feel like they should not have. Like, something about seeing the show just makes me not okay. Does that make sense? Are, are people picking up what I'm putting down here? Like, I, I feel like this show is getting away with things it, it definitely should not. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop me the like. It helps me out a ton. And subscribe to the channel because, as you know, I'm aiming for 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. As usual, though, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe. And until next time, this is Thundro signing off.